it's gone up, so that's good. Uh, last wine, um, which is a very interesting blend. Um, it's not a blend you come across uh, often in France, actually, not anymore nowadays. It's a blend of four different grape varietals, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon and Syrah dominant, plus a little bit of Merlot and Petit Verde. So three Bordeaux varietals, Cabernet, Merlot, Petit Verdot, plus a Rhone varietal, which is Syrah. Um, and the story is a, an interesting one for us coming from Bordeaux, uh, is that right up until the, the 60s uh, and 70s, uh, in the weak vintages, and God knows we had a lot of rainy harvests, uh, no alcohol, no color in the wines, uh, wines which were really weak, which we can hardly sell. Uh, and what what did the Bordelais uh, do, and now we can talk about it because we're not in Bordeaux anymore, <laughs> is that we used to beef up the wines uh, with some Syrah. Uh, so the Syrah came either from the Rhone, came from uh, south of France, or it came from even from North Africa. So we would blend in Syrah into our traditional Bordeaux uh, varietals. I'm not sure you don't want you want to film me about this. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. Uh, so if you have wines from Bordeaux, uh, which are older than you know 1960, 70 in your cellars, there's a strong chance that there's some Syrah uh, in the in the in the wine. And obviously, the AOC system, the appellation system, which you know in France, only came about in the after the Second World War and before. Obviously, it was very open to you know you could do whatever you wanted. And actually, there's an interesting um, story that a uh, very famous chateau in Bordeaux has created a, an interesting blend rec recently, Chateau Palma. Uh, chateau Palma is a third growth of, uh, of Margot. Uh, and they've created a blend called the 19th century blend, which is a blend of 80% Palma, which is par uh, just Margot, and 20% Cotroti, which is Syrah. So and this, we tasted against our Grand Vin, so, which is our Cal Syrah blend. And we thought that our wine showed really, really nicely, especially when you start looking at the price, where probably buy uh, you know, uh, 10 cases of the Grand Vin for one bottle of Palma. Uh, but, but the quality, I think, is, 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 is there, and uh, it's a very interesting blend. So Cabernet Syrah, uh, which is a Grand Vin, a signature blend, a blend which works really well in South Africa, but also you can come across it in uh, Australia uh, quite regularly. So last time I speak, uh, thank you uh, very much for coming. Um, I hope if you come, if you see my grandmother, you'll tell her that I did a good job. Because <laughs> <laughs> I did mention that my grandmother turned uh, 91 last week. And she, uh, she's still very much uh, in charge of the, of the business. So she's both my grandmother and my boss. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been doing this for many generations, but this is quite a new thing for us now in South Africa. Uh, and we, we're starting to just build a you know, following and uh, we, we really hope that you will uh, follow our wines and follow what we do and more importantly, uh, come and visit us uh, when you're in South Africa. I'm hanging around, so if you want a business card, but you can call the estate and uh, just said you were here tonight and uh, we, we do our best to look after you. So thanks again, and I think we need to, to, to say a big thank you to Eric uh, for his fantastic <laughs> Thank you.